So I'm going to show you how to process a um, Muse file. And first you start MATLAB. Uh, if you don't have MATLAB, it means you have a compiled version of EGLAB. So if that's the case, you just double click on the icon. And there is a video that shows you how to install this uh, uh, compiled version. So if you have MATLAB, you have to type EGLAB to start EGLAB. And if you just install MATLAB, EGLAB, uh, then you'll have to install the Muse, uh, file, the Muse import importer. So to do that, you go to Manage Extension Data Import Extension, and you would select the Muse import extension. I already have installed it here, so I don't need to do that. If you have the compiled version, it's already installed by default. So uh, you go into the menu file import using eglab functions and plugin and then you select muse monitor apps.csv file. I have one on the desktop which I'm going to select. You don't need to set a name. Here it is now it's imported in eglab it says four channels number of frame 304 seconds and first I'm going to plot the data so to do that you do plot data uh, plot channel data and you can see it's empty here because they're all offset if I increase the scale for instance to 1000 you can see this is AF8 AF7 etc so they, they are offset offset so to remove the offset what we do is we go to this menu tool remove baseline Okay, and then we're just saying we're going to save that data set. Okay, so now if I go and plot, uh, we can see the different channels. We can see channels one and three are very noisy compared to the two other channels in the center. And so what we're going to do first is to try to remove that noise. So channel one and four. So to try to remove that noise, we'll use ICA. If uh, we were to just remove to look at the quality of the channels, we would go to channel spectra and map. So plot channel spectra and map. Then we put 100% of the data instead of 15%, one to 150 because it goes up to 300 hertz. So we want to take half of the maximum frequency and then we can see these are the two channels here one and four if we can if we click on them we get the number and and the green one which is channel number two also has a little bit of artifact so if we were to process the data without running ICA we'd probably just reject one and two but we'll see if ICA can fix that so I'm going to run ICA, tools, run ICA, and I'm just going to uh, put the default here. I remove extended because it takes a long time. Although in that case it might be irrelevant, you don't have to remove extended, you, you can keep extended. And uh, now I'm going to look at my component plot channel activation components. I'm going to change the scale. And so we can see, you know, the first components has captured a lot of the noise. There's still something in component two. We don't, and then you see here component four also has some uh, changes. But we, we don't want to remove more than one component because we only have four channels and there's consequences to removing uh, components. So we want to remove one component at the most, the one that's like the most uh, important. We can see here, this is probably some alpha wave here. Um, so we're, we're going to remove component number one. Uh, so to do that, first 
uh, we need to save the components so we can see them later. So weight matrix, uh, we're going to save the inverse weight matrix to a text file. So I select this menu. And then you go wherever you had the file, you select the original file, and you're going to say ICA, underscore ICA. And this is going to be a text file. Okay, so it has been saved. If we demo click on the file, we are able to see the the weights. So that's all good. And we're going to remove, we said, component number two, one. Remove component one. We can plot the single trials before and after. You see this is... So we see that this channel 2 is barely affected, this channel 3 barely affected, but we see channel 1 and 4 are very strongly affected. It removes a lot of the noise in this channel. So we're going to accept and override the parent. Now we're going to plot the data again, change the scale, and we see it's much more acceptable right now, these two additional channels. You can still see some blanks here in all the channels, but uh, the, the noise is mostly removed. So now we're going to clean that data by hand. So to clean the data by hand, I like to set a lar large window, like 30 seconds. And we're going to look at everything uh, that barely, you know, basically is not flat. Here I put a scale of 100. Physiological data is in the range of 2 to 10 millivolts. Anything that's above 10 millivolts is, is an artifact. So here we have a lot of artifact. This is, here we have artifact in this channel. So you probably want to remove this. Although three channels are good here. We have one channel that's relatively bad. Here we're going to remove this section as well. And here we have an artifact. Here we have something, but I'm going to keep this. It's not too bad. We can't remove everything. Here, this section is to be noisy. Here's some noise as well. It's better to be, this might be physiological data uh, because we see the high frequency. It's unclear, this is not because it's slower. And here, so yeah, it's better to remove too much, but not enough. Okay, I press reject button, and okay. Now I'm going to double check a second time. I change my scale to 100. I have a little bit of data here. You know, it's not removed, so I'm just going to select it again. I don't like to have a boundary here with just a little bit of data. And now I'm going to take my range to 30 seconds as well. Maybe here, here definitely an artifact, which I forgot to remove. Uh, and here probably this deserve to go. And here. Hmm. I'd like to remove this as well, and this. Okay. So 
So once you're done, you're going to save your data set as uh, on the desktop with the same name. The same name. Uh, so here I already have it dot set, but the same name as you imported it. So here I have to replace it. And so sometimes you won't find an ICA component that's removing most of the noise. If it doesn't look like it, just don't remove anything. Just process, uh, just remove some data channels. And to remove data channels, you go to this menu, select data, and then you select the channel you want to remove. In our case, at the very beginning, it would have been one and four, but I see it was able to correct them. And you can remove the channels either before cleaning the data or after cleaning the data. Make sure if you do it after cleaning the data, uh, you're, you're uh, checking the data after removing them as well. So here we don't need to do that since uh, all the, after running ICA, all the channels were pretty good.